Welcome to Originals Tea. Premium tea manufacturer since 2019. Does unsweetened tea count as water? Drink at least 2 liters of water every day. Do not forget to consume at least 10 glasses of water daily. How often have you come across such suggestions? Pretty sure all of you must be familiar with these daily pieces of advice that we are reminded every day, but most of us fail to follow. We are all guilty of breaking promises. But let's face it, drinking just plain water throughout the day in such quantities is not everyone's cup of tea, pun intended. To plan out accordingly, you definitely try out several different methods to ensure you hit your daily mark of drinking water in prescribed quantities. You plan out by substituting your water intake with other beverages which supposedly quench your thirst and also count as water. This brings an important question to your mind, which beverages can you actually count as water? Regardless to say, you take in a lot of juices, lots of electrolytes or even soft drinks throughout your day and wonder if this satisfies your requirement of drinking water. You take in tea twice to thrice a day. But does this tea count as your daily intake of water? Tea, whether sweetened or unsweetened determines how it reacts in your body. Does unsweetened tea count as water? In all essence, unsweetened tea does count as water. Tea, although mildly diuretic, help your body get hydrated, and your body absorbs the maximum water from the beverage. According to studies, drinking 4 to 6 mugs of tea a day is as good for keeping you hydrated as a liter of water. Unsweetened tea, in its simplest definition, means tea without sugar. While tea along with sugar sounds like an oxymoron to some, it is a real trend in many major parts around the globe. Tea is served with teaspoons of sugar, or sometimes you may drown just by the taste of sugar in your cup and not tea leaves. Some people consume sugar in the name of tea. Your body is 60% water. Consumption of water, therefore in the right quantities is one crucial step for your well-being. Water plays a significant role in the human body. It is just like fuel to a vehicle. Just as a car cannot run without petrol slash diesel, similarly, our body cannot function naturally without the presence of water in it. The human body is made up of numerous cells and tissues which needs water to remain healthy and functioning. Sugar in your body. You brew a cup of tea depending upon your taste and mood. You desire a strong cup, you pour in more leaves or keep the leaves in warm water for a longer duration. Similarly, lesser brewing time or lesser quantity of tea leaves will give you a slightly less robust cup of tea. Sugar likewise is another component you pour according to your whims. But sugar becomes a prominent taste decider for your cup of tea. Sugar influences the taste majorly even with just one spoon of it being added. There are varieties of tea leaves which are well complemented by sugar, and it vastly enhances the overall taste. Milk tea and most of its varieties are consumed well with sugar. The taste of milk is naturally complemented by sugar, and the entire flavor of the tea is enhanced in the process. The caffeine present in tea leaves is primarily responsible for making tea bitter. The caffeine molecules are perceived as bitter by the taste buds, and this is the main reason why tea tastes bitter in general. While many people enjoy this robust bitter flavor, not everyone is a fan of this. This encourages the use of sugar in the drink. But not just taste, sugar influences the overall quality of tea. When sugar is added in a cup of tea, there are chemical changes taking place in your cup, which is going to influence the overall character of the tea. According to studies, caffeine molecules, which are responsible for making bitter tea aggregate in order to avoid sugar molecules. The affinity between sugar molecules and water molecules is the reason why caffeine molecules are aggregated and separated, making it less accessible for the taste buds to detect. There are definitely vast changes occurring in the cup without you noticing how it turns out. Unsweetened tea counts as water? Now that you understand sugar reacts adversely with your cup of freshly brewed tea let us check how tea without sugar turns out for you. Tea with or without sugar contains caffeine. Until very recently, tea was considered to be dehydrating because of the presence of caffeine. Why? Caffeine is a mild diuretic substance. Which means the consumption of caffeine leads to the tendency of urination. That means caffeine promotes the loss of water from the body, making it diuretic. Caffeine increases blood flow to the kidney and fluid output which results in feeling to urinate. Since tea contains a fair dose of caffeine, it was believed to be dehydrating. It is one of the reasons people feared consuming tea. However, recent studies debunk this idea quite effectively. Although tea does contain caffeine, the diuretic effect does not offset hydration. The minor dose of caffeine in tea or coffee, as a matter of fact, is not going to dehydrate you in any way. 
Conversely, it might help hydrate your body. The process of the introduction of additional fluid to your body is called hydration. Tea is a hydrating agent for your body, meaning tea helps your body get the necessary intake of water. According to studies, drinking 4 to 6 mugs of tea a day is as good for keeping you hydrated as a liter of water. Although tea is diuretic, studies show that the beverages are mildly diuretic. That, in essence, means that your body does reject some parts of the water that you consume with tea in the form of urine, most of the water is essentially retained by your body. It does count as the water that you drink. You can from today boast about the cups of tea that you consume and add the beverage to your total tally of water that you drink throughout the day. Add the benefits of drinking a cup of tea along with an increase in the tally. You get added minerals and antioxidants, all in one cup. It is not only hydrating your body, but also replenishing some essential nutrients for you. Summary. So in all essence, tea does hydrate your body. The catch here is the word unsweetened. Adding sugar to this same drink has different effects in your body. While tea even with sugar will help you hydrate your body, it will cause some other reactions due to the presence of sugar in the drink. Sugar has adverse health effects on the human body. So, even though it helps hydrate you, you cannot really consider it as an alternative to water. However, it is up to your own decision about how you decide to fulfill your overall tally. Some levels of energy drinks, sweetened beverages, fruit juices and even tea and coffee can help you complete your daily water consumption goal. Make sure your body is well hydrated always, and you are good to go. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching.